So, me and Michael, we went up the mountain today, and you guys will see that footage in a second, but we went up to see a, uh, a B-18 that crashed back in 1942. So I'm going to play the footage for that. Uh, while that's going on, Michael's going to read off uh, the history of it, so you guys will be able to see that. And um, before we do that, I just want to show you guys the, the camp here. We stayed here last night. Um, so we're just on the river and got a little camp. There's no cell service out here, out in the middle of nowhere. So it's real nice. There's really nobody out here. So it's uh, peaceful, right, Mikey? That's pretty peaceful. Sure. Yeah. So the camp does have power, and we have like a TV and whatever. And that's also the wrong key. But no internet. No nothing like that. But don't need it. Real good view of the river. See so alrighty guys. Enjoy Listen to Michael talk. Okay, Mike, where are we going? Crash B-18 bomber site. So, we're walking down this trail right now, and there's more people that just showed up. So, we're going to try to get a little bit further ahead of them. But, they're up in the mountains of New Hampshire, there is a crashed B-18 from World War II. Crashed in 1942. Crashed in 1942, and we are, it's like a five-mile hike, and the trail is rated hard. Um, me and Michael are not hikers. So, <laughs> we'll see how that goes, but we're gonna, we got good faith, we got a bunch of waters, we got cliff bars, and everybody knows, you know, hikers eat this shit, so, <laughs> we're totally gonna die out here, but there's people here, so we probably won't die, because those people are gonna be right behind us, so, alright, we'll get to you when we get some more interesting stuff. Alright, so Michael's gonna give us a little history on this. Not all seven people died. It was actually two of them. Michael's going to read us uh, what happened and everything. Just so that you guys uh, don't have to look it up yourselves. So, The title of this is called The World War II Bomber That Crashed in New Hampshire. One of New England's most unique memorials of those who died in World War II is found... Uh, damn. I'm going to restart that. No, you can just read it, Mike. Alright. Mount Water Nomi of, B8, of a B-18 bomber that crashed in New Hampshire. It looks like that. <clears throat> Woodstock, New Hampshire was hardly the scene of combat missions in World War II, but, in, uh, but it nevertheless is the site of two wartime casualties. Raymond Lawrence of Worcester, Mass., and Noah Phillips of Fayetteville, Arkansas, died there while on a mission on January 14, 1942. The two men were part of the crew of a B-18 assigned to patrol the coast of New England. In those days, German U-boats were harassing merchant, si merchant ships, sinking them with a, uh, abandon. On this frigid winter patrol, a blizzard set in. The plane was enveloped by the storm and the pilot and crew lost their bearings. A brief break in the cloud cover revealed the lights of a city below. Thinking they were flying over Providence, Rhode Island, the men set a course for Westover Field in Massachusetts. Unfortunately, the city they had glimpsed below was not Providence. Instead, it was Concord, New Hampshire. The storm had pushed the aircraft much farther off course than the crew realized, and the course they set would take them toward New Hampshire's White Mountains. Dropping in altitude in hopes of seeing the airfield only made matters worse. <clears throat> the plane hit trouble in Woodstock when it began clipping the tops of trees. It wasn't long before it crashed in a fiery blast. A series of additional explosions as bomb and or fuel caught fire captured the attention of townspeople in Woodstock and they launched a rescue effort immediately. <clears throat> After several hours of trudging through the snow into the wilderness, the townspeople encountered the first of the survivors. In all, the local residents ex extracted four men from the snowy woods, all with significant injuries. Lawrence and Phillips, however, were killed in the crash. The site of this crash is preserved to this day in the woods of Woodstock, and hikers often visit it to pause and silently reflect over the engine and fuselage wreckage that remain lodged in the woods. We're almost there, Mikey. Yeah, almost. Almost there. 
So this trail, this trail is pretty steep. It's getting a little bit easier now that we get closer to the top, but like the mid way of the trail is real rocky and whatever else. So I think we're almost there though. Oh, play me some mountain music like grandma and grandpa used to play. Oh, baby. Oh my gate. Oh my gate. How long do you think I've been walking for? Hour and a half? Hour and a half? Yeah. Oh! What? I got an inchworm stuck on my lens. <laughs> oh. So apparently I walked right past part of the plane. Wonder what part that is. Looks like, uh, I don't know, some part of the body of the plane. Some pretty thin metal. Probably don't need <laughs> Fucking shit. It's a lot of structure. I bet you it's part of the plane. This is some pretty good welds, huh? <laughs> yeah. I think it's part of a wing. I think it's part of a wing. That's sure. Because it's got a port on it right here. Yeah. Definitely aluminum. That's why it's still here. Yeah, Mike. The engine's right here. Ancient ruins. Oh man, those are some big connecting rods. Good lord, that's some carnage. The other one's right there. Yeah, they're pretty big, huh? This one's still like mostly intact. That one's missing whatever the hell these are. The lifters in them. Yeah. yeah. Well, that one's missing two of them. <laughs> Look at this exhaust, dude. That's freaking massive. These are radial engines, non-dual ones. Do these things have turbos on them? I don't know if this one did, but most fighters did. Yeah. They were turbo superchargers. They put out... Because it looks like there'd be something connected to here. Yeah. A turbo supercharger was put in so that it would trick the planes into thinking that they were at sea level so you could still pump out 2,000 horsepower at 40,000 feet. See, this is why I bring Michael. <laughs> he knows stuff. About planes. About planes. Wonder what's down there. Wonder what those pieces are from. Michael. So this plane was blue and red. Does that mean anything? That's probably the markings. The American markings. Oh. Well, you can't really see it anymore. But there's red paint there. And blue blue paint over here. Yeah, this stuff's not even recognizable anymore. What? A hinge for what? For a door? Where? What are you looking at? Michael knows what stuff is, so. What are you looking at? This thing is There's part of a hinge, maybe a door or a hatch or something. <laughs> There's gotta be more stuff up there because they're hanging out up there. That's where the rest of the fuselage and the wings are. Oh, sorry, ancient history. Oh, I did not mean to do that. My apologies. Yeah, all of this stuff's mangled because it flew down the mountain. I just burped real loud. 
I just want to see like if there's anything painted on these things. Or like any anything painted on them or something like that. That'd be sweet. They're like numbers or something. So what's this, like the tail? This might be part of a wing. Part of a wing? Possibly. There's a big circle. Oh yeah, that's a star. Yep. See it? That's the old American marker. Insignia. Oh look. Get a wicked good picture of it right here. It smashed a chip. Oh yeah. Whew, man. God bless America. I wonder what tree it's smashed. There's a oh my god, there's a big piece of it up there, Mike. That's like the whole rest of the plane. Yeah. Right there? Yep. Right in the corner. That was a window? I think so. It looks like there's still glass in it. Oh, there is still glass in it. Huh. So this was part of like the cabin then. Yeah. I wonder if this is the like the nose or something. <laughs> there's really no way to tell. Right, unless we find the rest of the fuselage. It's probably up there. That's what I'm guessing. Let's go up there. Yep. Man. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't look like that anymore. No. Seven people. Nineteen forty two. So one of the guys survived. Lived for 66 more years. Wow. That's pretty crazy, dude, how someone could survive this. Yeah. Thank you. Man, there are pieces of this thing everywhere up there. Yeah. I just almost fell down onto it. So this is probably, you think this is the, like, the wing. This is the wing still? Looks like it. The wing is pretty big. I don't really know how to tell. So you think this is the fuselage? Maybe. It's so crumpled, it's hard to... Part of it, yeah. What is it? wonder where I hit the desk. Well, we're gonna go up and find out. Now, Mike, this looks like a wing, kinda. Cause it's, there's bullet holes in it. Oh yeah, maybe it is. Looks like this is where... It's either not to the fuselage or an engine goes. Cause this is curved like a wing. Yeah. Mike, are these bullet holes? I doubt it. They look like bullet holes. I don't know who would be shooting at an American aircraft. Well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't in America the whole time. See? Boom. Oh yeah. Boom. I mean, they might. Someone might have put those there after it crashed. But those are definitely bullet holes. Nice. That's a wing on top of another wing. Yeah, this is totally a wing. The rest of it's got to be. Maybe it's over there, where they are. There was a control surface here, in those hinges. I think it was a flap. It must have had split flaps. There's the flap. There are pieces of this thing scattered everywhere. And it's completely unrecognizable. But we still didn't find the fuselage. We've all we've, all we've found is wings so far. Unless this is it. It looks like a piece of... There's a big pipe coming out of it. What do you think this is? There's a pulley right there. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, landing gear. Landing gear? Yep. Okay. Yeah, there it is. See? There's the rim for the wheel. That's the strut. Huh. This? So how did that end up up here? The poor thing must have blown to pieces. I'd like to know which way it came in from though, because if it came in and hit the mountain this way, then. But if it came in from the other way, then there'd probably stop up there. Because I don't know how this would get up here. Mm -hmm. If it came in from that way, I don't know how. The record wouldn't be scattered up the hill, it'd be scattered down the hill, right? Right. Yeah, let me read about it. together, but it's still there. Yeah. Right there. The rim is gone. The I'm surprised tires. this isn't all bent up. Well, these things are built for strength. I mean, well, most of the strut did break. Oh, yeah, this is bent, too. Look at this grease fitting. The rim has a huge hole in it. Yeah, the tire must have melted off in the fire. But look at that. Oh, that's probably why you can't see any, like, paint or nothing. Yeah. Because it was all on fire. It blew up from the bombs and gas that were on board. But it's still here. Completely melted aluminum. Yeah. It's got a rock in it. Dude, it's got a rock in it. Yeah. Look at that. Huh. At least I think that's a rock. There's nails in it. You can still see the nails. For the rivets? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Chipmunk. Bastard. Take it. Yeah. We're half a mile up. Yeah, we did not leave that Kit Kat wrapper on the ground, by the way. I picked it up. Right. Just so you guys don't fucking yell at me. <laughs> we picked up all of our trash. Not leaving yeah, so Michael's got a backpack, so. Yep. Um, we're going to head back down now. Because we pretty much have seen everything that there is to see. So we're going to head back down. We paid our respects. Yep. Yeah. So, <clears throat> if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, if you want me to do more videos like this, I can. We can find more stuff to go explore. Um, I've explored a couple abandoned houses and stuff. Those videos are up if you wanted to see them. But this is just something different. Me and Michael made a day out of it. So, came up here and Michael almost fucking fell down the hill. Stupid boats for shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.